Hey folks, it's Beard Boy here and I've got a problem. Here in my hardcore world, we have almost everything we would need besides some of the most essential parts to a hardcore world. Totems, oven dying, and for rockets. So in today's episode of Modern Minecraft Hardcore, we are gonna build one of the most essential farms to any Minecraft world. A raid farm, a creeper farm, let's go. Let's get started with the raid farm. And with the raid farm, we're gonna need a bed, two buckets of water, one bucket of lava, six chests, 11 signs, 35 slabs, of any choice and three hoppers and this tutorial that this raid farm is from is from Mysticat. links in the description and now that we got all the supplies it's time to find ourselves our lucky little spot which we'll be able to have a modded area because we have an outpost but not this not just that the modded outpost so we get to see what that's like as well there it is that is the outpost that we need and i'm going to build our little raid farm area over here I don't care about looking too nice because it's far away from our main area. Not too far. It's walkable. But I'm going to build it here. So I'm going to start probably on this land here above these guys, I know. And I'm going to see how I get. Okay, to get this done properly, I'm probably going to have to build up. Not like that. I'm probably going to have to build up like this. All the way over above these trees and above the hill. So basically above those trees and make it a beeline straight over there. But you see that tall tree, we have to go a whole lot up in the air. And then after that, what I'm gonna do is two separate things. So for this spot, there's gonna be a powered rail and cart system that will go all the way up here. When we get up there, I'm just gonna transfer uh, the villager into a boat because that will most likely be the easiest way out most likely uh because i don't know about you but i don't want to go mining for so much iron that i don't have so we're just gonna do this put them in a boat and take them all the way over till we get over there one eternity later much much later we have completed this tunnel slash pathway so we can bring this villager by boat over here now it's time to get all of this finally set up finally i have got him in the boat now it comes along an excruciating ride so you have a family phil tell me about that family phil i need to know about that family hey buddy this is your new home let's get you in so his home is over here here let's drop you down sir and then since you're gonna be on that side yep you should be stuck there now that's perfect It's time to go 27 blocks after I got this sucker built. Now it's time for the hopper system. Also, if you guys like to know where these arrows are coming in, because this kind of shows where it's being connected to, this isn't vanilla, this is uh, vanilla tweaks, which is a uh, texture pack that you, or texture that's an old term that doesn't get used actually anymore it is a resource pack that you can get at uh type in vanilla tweaks and it'll be like the top result this is a really cool pack and it's what gives me the rainbow in my xp bar okay folks the farm is complete you know what i want to do now i want to go make a pillager mad big mad said, there's my guy let's go voluntary exile so if we head over to here quickly quickly here we go let's see what happens Okay, they're starting to make their way down here. Gotta wait for some, not really Ravagers. We don't care about those guys. I want some Vindicators. Give me a Vindicator. Oh boy. More here. Come on. I want a Vindicator. Give me a Vindicator. Oh, there it is. A totem. We finally have a totem. Oh my. 
there's still more up there. Oh, this is a great day. Guys, the fact that we're at this point with a actual totem in hardcore. Oh, this took forever, but we got it. I'm just gonna have to try to farm a couple more if I can. I'm gonna have to lure him over here and then I'm getting the heck out of here. I have 40 levels and I have two totems on me. So hopefully no deaths. Are you sure about that? No, I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. We'll come and farm these another day. I'm, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. There's vexes everywhere. I need out. I need out of here. I need out of here. There's my way. There's my way. I need to go home. I need to go home. Run, run, run. Oh my god. Well. Oh no. They're still following me. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna do a little of this and see if this works. Okay, that did work. Logging off the world. I think I've had enough of the farm today. I, I don't have any totems on me. We'll, we'll come back to farm more when we're better prepared. I There's no way I can hit those guys with just a sword. So I'm going all the way home. I'm healing up. And then we're going to make the other farms to finish today's episode. Oh, I'm so glad to be home. You don't... You have not believed the day I've had. I almost died for real, dude. Yeah, now that I know this does work, I'll come back here in the future once I'm more betterly prepared. Like, you know, having as many arrows as possible, because I think that's the only way you could defeat effects at this point. Besides that, uh, it works. It actually works. We got two totems out of that and then immediately popped them because I am not good at combat against effects. So this does work. So we'll have to come back to it here in the future. Right before the dragon fight, I'd say. And then we'll be able to use that to make ourselves a bit overpowered in the future. I might even upgrade it to a different design. We'll see. But this one does work. Okay, I spent some time. I went and crafted some new stuff because some of the stuff was starting to break. Mainly this, which is a good pickaxe. But apparently I literally just made the same pickaxe again, which is great. Also, we got this Ruinite Axe. I'm breaking three, efficiency four. That's going to be really good. These are still good in comparison to that. And I also made a new pair of boots because I was about to break, and this is really good. Protection for Death Strider 3, Unbreaking 3. So that's going to last us a little while. Now I'm going to grab the materials. From what I know, I'm going to probably need a lot of iron, which probably needs I need to go hit the mines really quick. So... Okay, for the Creeper Gunpowder Farm... I'm going to do something that's going to be a multiple of different things. Instead of just being Creeper, we're also going to have it be just a classic mob farm, mainly because I have no cats over here. And two, I don't have access to scaffolding, unfortunately. So most of the Creeper farms that are really good, I won't be able to properly do. But what I can do is make a mob drop farm Make a spawn area where we can go and AF, uh, AFK to. Probably put some ladders up there. And then, once that's done, once we get the Elytra, we won't have to worry about the ladders anymore. And we can just get our way up there. But till then, I need a lot of locks to get up. So I'm probably going to have a dirt pillar maybe going up there or something for temporarily. But we're going to make a classic mob drop farm so i'm gonna get my materials together and i'll meet you guys in the building area okay we're gonna be starting the farm now and it's gonna be from someone that we've followed before voltrox so i'm gonna start by digging a four little four block hole there pop 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 pop
after all of that building and a little bit of XP with my bar down there, as you see. I, I have a bunch of books, okay? I, I wanted to go get some books. But <laughs> we finally have this done, and we even have a water elevator going up. So it's not automatic, it's just basic flowing water going up to the top level and then up there to the AFK platform. They'll come down here. Instead of slabs, I did fire uh, campfires. Uh, mainly because I thought this would be a better way of automatically killing them because I'm not here for the XP I'm here for the loot uh, They haven't spawned yet, but I haven't actually went up there uh, And look at this. I wanted to do a unique design not design but a unique kind of block placement on each one and I'm liking how it came out and then on the out uh, the top here Look at that it Even goes up there and then the top roof is also unique once we have a elytra, we'll be able to go up there and tear all of these down and we'll be able to have this just fully like it is, but for now it is temporary. Now, even though we only have three days left, we're going to build a sugarcane farm It's going to go right here. Are you sure about that? So we might not be able to make this farm yet because I have no way of getting nether quartz. So we're gonna have to wait till after the nether episode to actually build this sucker up. But we're really close to day 100 anyway. So I wanna do some cleaning up. There we go. It is a lot better looking out here now without that dirt path. We're not gonna need it again. Because for the most part, we should be able just to have that villager over at the raid farm. Okay, folks. It's time to lay down as we move to triple digits. Look at that. Day 100, baby. We finally did it. 100 days in hardcore Minecraft. Amazing. Now I have plenty of other things. This video has taken a long, long while to produce and a lot of it had to do with these farms. We have this big boy there. We have the other one over in that direction. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider subscribing because we're on the goal to 1,000 subscribers. And then 10,000. Consider liking the video because liking always helps. And comment down below what you thought of today's episode. I've been Beard Boy OG. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.